Greetings 2008 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2 Question number 1 Fuels Part A Biogas is a mixture of mainly carbon 4 oxide and methane Part 1 Give a reason why biogas can be used as fuel. So the answer to this question depended on the components of biogas. And a student was expected to state that biogas is used as fuel because biogas contains methane. Methane which is a fuel that was the expected response to that question for one mark and I think from the stem of the question you were given some hint that actually methane is present in biogas part 2 of section A other than fractional distillation, describe a method that can be used to determine the percentage of methane in biogas. So this one was asking for an alternative method of separating methane from carbon four oxide so that we are able to know it's uh, percentage composition so how can we separate methane from carbon 4 oxide the answer is simple when you pass the mixture through any alkali then carbon 4 oxide is able to be absorbed leaving your methane separated from the carbon 4 oxide so the expected answer would have been that pass of course we have to know the volume eh? so pass a known volume of biogas you pass it through any alkali for this uh, purpose we would use either sodium hydroxide we can use potassium hydroxide or we can even use calcium hydroxide. All these would be able to absorb carbon-4 oxide. So writing that was good enough for one whole mark. And then you continue to explain that carbon-4 oxide will be absorbed. Writing this is the next half mark. Then after you've done that, we shall then collect, collect all the gas. Collect all the gas that come out. Collect all the gas that come out in a syringe. This will now be our methane. So doing this, one whole mark, then lastly we say we are supposed to measure, using that syringe, measure the volume of methane that will have come out after all the carbon dioxide has been absorbed. Then once we have those two volumes, the percentage composition can then be determined by volume of methane you'll have read from the syringe. You will divide by the volume of biogas that we passed through the alkali. Volume of biogas. And then this you multiply by 100% to get the percentage of methane in biogas. This would give 
the last half mark, total marks three. To part B of number one, a sample of biogas contains 35.2% by mass of methane. Then a cylinder containing biogas had five, five kilograms of the gas. We are being told to calculate number of moles of methane in the cylinder. So the first thing we shall do is to get the mass of methane. Out of the five kilograms, what was the mass of methane? And this you do by doing the percentage by mass, 35.2% times the kilograms that we had. And that gives us 1.76 kilograms. For us to be able to get number of moles, we need these in grams. So when you change 1.76 kilograms into grams, we get 1760 grams. And now, number of moles, number of moles would be given by mass in grams, divided by the molar mass, which has been given as 16. And the answer here becomes 110 moles of methane. Next question is asking us to calculate the total volume of carbon-4 oxide produced by the combustion of methane in the cylinder. We have been told that molar gas volume at RTP is 24 liters. So for us to answer this question, we first need an equation for combustion of methane. So methane has the formula CH4. When you burn it in oxygen, we are bound to get carbon dioxide and steam or water. This you balance using a 2 on oxygen and a 2 on water. So from here, mole ratio between our methane and carbon four oxide we can see from the equation is one is to one so this means that moles of carbon four oxide would be the same as the ones we calculated here and that is 110 moles so to get volume to get volume of carbon four oxide we shall simply multiply the number of moles by the molar gas volume at RTP and the answer is 2640 liters. So in terms of marking the equation gives one whole mark multiplying number of moles by 24 half a mark and the answer another half a mark. Remember the unit had to be present Otherwise, the half a mark for the answer would be lost. Part C. Carbon-4 oxide, methane, nitrogen-1 oxide, and trichlorofluoromethane are greenhouse gases. State one effect of an increased level of these gases in the environment. That effect is called global warming for one mark. Last question, as far as our question on 2008 KCSE paper two, question number one is concerned is, give one source from which each of the following gases is released to the environment. Nitrogen one oxide mainly comes from ammonium fertilizers. So you can give any like ammonium nitrate and so on. For trichlorofluoromethane, the sources are so many. We have aerosols, sprays, 
propellants and even we get them from refrigerators. That marks the end of our question on whales. Thank you for keeping it the Kenyan teacher.